Now why advanced? Already the popular m and &E for Results course has an advanced second week. Well this is a unique system and unique set of tools that you'll get in this course, which are based on 35 years of development and experiment, all done within large, complex and often learning process projects. So it's less about frameworks, indicators and terminal evaluations, more monitoring for internal learning. Now why a learning process? Firstly, M&E tends to be rather ritualised and is essentially about accountability to central government and donors. That's fair enough, they're supplying the funds. They want to know what's going on and they want to know if it's been a success. But it's not going to give you the best results. For that, you need to prioritise learning over accountability. Secondly, Policy learning tends to be rather poorly served by summative evaluations. There are a lot of issues with quality and it's only a snapshot, remember, at the end of the project. Even if you manage to get a good quality evaluation that yields important lessons, where are those lessons going to be applied? The next project is likely to be in a different context and following different processes. The time to learn is during the investment period. Thirdly, framework-based M&E is not really managerially relevant, especially at the operational level. And finally, in complex, diverse, risk-prone and information-poor projects, especially where you're trying to change human behaviour, the theory you set out with will almost certainly need to be adapted. So in what ways will we be showing you different techniques from the conventional M&E? Well, first of all, the systems will be designed and operated from the periphery. The centre will focus on training support and the reflection that's needed for the big decisions. There'll be highly analytical monitoring of all the results chain levels and the methods will be a combination of qualitative and quantitative approaches. Information will be given to all levels of management in real time and any detected failure will be investigated qualitatively. In fact, it will all form part of an action learning cycle. So what are the methods you will learn? Well, there's a number of innovative tool sets. First of all, cognitive mapping, where you learn to investigate the real client field situation. That will feed into a non-linear theory of change model, where all assumptions about theory will be made explicit. The analytical monitoring tools will include following physical progress in a way that not only gives you the overall picture of where the project is, but allows you to drill down to find out where are the problems. You'll also learn how to track emerging outcomes and impacts using rapid, calibrated, judgment-based methods. And finally, you'll learn how to do target mini reviews for the qualitative investigation. In summary then, you will learn how to devise a system run by your project level staff using conventional computer applications and the whole will form a coherent learning system. During the week, you can start building your own system on your own laptop. However, you will need to have a sound grasp of the principles of monitoring and evaluation before attending the course. And the final thought, why not consider combining it with the one-week knowledge management course run by IMA, which will help you to create a learning culture which is so essential on these projects. So, thank you for your time and we hope to see you on the course.